Hi, my name's Tracy from Grant and Breeder Services in Lincolnshire. I just wanted to come on and share a short video about my preferred way of tying off a puppy's umbilical cord. There are lots of different things that you can do, but I want to show you what I find works for us, okay? I'm going to show you first some other bits that you can get. You can get these tiny plastic umbilical clamps. I'm not a fan of them. I don't think they clamp tight enough and they're a bit cumbersome for a small breed. You can also get forceps, either locking or without the locking mechanism. Um, they're really heavy. I find that they're too heavy and bulky for a tiny puppy's abdominal muscles. They cause a lot of pulling. So I'd have my equipment ready and my preferred piece of equipment is dental floss. Comes in a little sealed canister so it's not sterile but it's going to be very clean because nothing will have touched it until you pull it out and I also have a pair of scissors that I've cleaned prior to needing to use them with some surgical spirit. So what I tend to do is pull out my length of dental floss and cut along that edge. My puppy is here, obviously this isn't real life, your puppy's gonna be squirming and kicking and vocal, but if I just show you the principle, hopefully you can put it into practice in real life. So I come round with my dental floss and I go approximately half a finger width from the puppy's skin at the bottom. Now a normal knot would just be one loop around, but for this I feel you need a surgical knot, which is two loops around and then tie. Now you can pull this as tight as you possibly can. You're not gonna hurt a puppy, there's no nerves in there. You want to seal that and prevent any blood escaping. So then we would do it again. Two twists round and pull tight. And then I tend to do it three times. So again, round twice. And pull tight. Now what I would do with my team scissors is I would cut that off fairly short and then I would cut off just above where I've tied I would cut off that remaining tissue and dispose of it. Now if you especially if you've got puppies on a heat pad within a couple of days that's going to dry up and drop off where you've put your ligature and you won't even know it's been there. And the bitches tend not to interfere with them at all. They don't cause any irritation. So I hope that's been helpful.